Okay, a good luck, everyone. As we start uh, the eighth parak of Ksuvis, of Shas Cotton, and uh, we are sponsored by the Fisher family, Leonishmus Basi Bas Rabbit Shlom Ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain, then Neshama should have an Aliyah. We also learn the uh, Leonishmus. Chaim ben Avram ben Yom Benish, and for the schus of Avram ben Yom Benish, ben Malk Yudas and family, Lefu Shleima, for the Yom Meish ben Chayisara, Lefu Shleima, for Meir ben Chayisara, they should have a Lefu Shleima, Bisayich Sha'achel Yisrael. So now, for Isha Shenoflu Lo Nechosim, a woman who inherits property, property from her uh, maternal side, Actually, Tesaurus, she inherited it when she was a teenager. Then she gets engaged. Now that she gets engaged, um, the husband doesn't want her to sell it because then he won't be able to enjoy the use of it when they get married. Moid and Beisham 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 both agree, Shemai Cheres when I said it, she could sell it and gift it away, the Kayim, and it uh, remains a good sale. But what if she inherited it after they got engaged? Beishami and Beishami says Timka. She could still sell it since they're not married yet. Well, Beisilim and Leisin because she shouldn't sell it. But Elu Elu Moed and both Beisil and Beishami agree. She in Mark of Anasna if she sells it or gives it as a gift, Kayim it is intact. It remains. Amr Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda related. Amr Lefnei Rabbi Gamliel. I don't understand. Hayil v'zacha beisha. Since he already has rights in her, so they're they're engaged. She's like an Ashes Ish. Lo Yiske Ben Achasim. Shouldn't he be able to block her from selling it or giving it away? Amalahem Ala Chadashim Anu Boishim. We're embarrassed, and we don't really have a clarity of why he could stop her when she gets a maternal inheritance. Uh, when they're already married, that you want to throw upon us this idea that she shouldn't be able to sell it when they're only engaged. But if she inherits it while she's married, then both are in agreement that if she sells it or she gives it away, that the husband could take it away from the buyer. Uh, he could take away the use of fruit while she's alive, and after she dies, he could take away the property itself. Actually, Nisus, if she inherits it when she was in Arusa, and then she gets married, Rabbi Gamliel, I mean, Rabbi Gamliel says since she inherited before they consummated the marriage, if she sells it or gives it away as a gift, it's upheld. Am Rabbi Chanin ben Akavya, they said before Rabbi Gamliel, I, I don't understand. Since now they're married, shouldn't he be able to have the property and, 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 and block the sale? He says, look, we don't even understand why uh, if she inherits it after she's married, why he could block it. You want to tell us that even where he inherits, she inherits it before they're married, he, he, he should be able to block it? That, 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 we're, that we're not going to tolerate. Rip Shimon makes a new distinction. Rip Shimon says it depends if it's real estate or if it's a movable. Rip Shimon, Chaylik Bein Nechosim L'Nechosim. She makes a distinction between different types of property. Nechosim ha'yudumim l'baal, property that's known to the husband, meaning real estate, loy simka, that she's not allowed to sell, whether she inherited it before or after. V'yemakra v'nasna, if she sells it or gives it away as a gift, bottle, we nullify the sale. She ain't on yudumim l'baal, but if they're movables, loy simka, she shouldn't sell it, but v'yemakra v'nasna, if she sells it and she gives it a gift, Kayim, the sale is upheld. Says uh, the Rav, for a summation of this, whether it's property that she inherited even when she was single, or if it fell to her when she's engaged, if she sells it after she gets married, the husband takes it away 
from the buyer. He takes the Yusufruk, Peire Bechayel, the Yusufruk while she's alive. The Gufa Karka and actual real estate he takes back, Lacham Isasa, if she dies. The Allah Reb Shimon, but the Allah is like Reb Shimon, Shechoyvik Ben Nechosim, you do him. He makes a distinction whether it's real estate, Nechosim, Shein, you do him, or it's Metaltalim. We want to thank you all very much for a beautiful evening of Taira and wish you a wonderful week.